Hey guys, me Dave. It's uh, 1 1 2023. So, Happy New Year. Happy New Year's Day, you guys. Um, I'm doing this on a different phone, so I don't know how well you can hear me. Um, my other phone is dead, so it, it I don't know. The thing doesn't charge all the time, so. Um, Tanner's licking my arm. <laughs> so, it, it uh, finally happened, you guys. It finally happened. Um, I went to the hospital today. I uh, went to the hospital. That's why I'm wearing the same clothes. Uh, not shaving. Um, went to the hospital today. Um, uh, as soon as I woke up this morning, I fed the dogs, and they were giving me severe heartburn, severe acid reflux and heartburn. I said, screw it. I'm calling 911. Um, the lady, usually... They even got the 911 operators involved, you guys. Um, they didn't this time. This lady had no idea who I was or what I was talking about. Um, I, I told her, I said, I said, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, have you heard of Havana Syndrome? She's like, no, I never heard of that. I said, well, I said, I'm being tortured with pulse microwave weapons. She's like, what is it called? I said, pulse microwave weapons. I'm being tortured. They have complete control of my central nervous system. And they're giving me severe heartburn, acid reflux right now. And I'm in pain. You know, I'm in pain. Um, she's like, I said, I, I need to go to the hospital. You know, that's what I told her. And then, um, and then um, she, uh, she's like, do you want me to send an ambulance? I said, well... I said, they usually send a police officer to come take me down there, you know. She's like, I'm sending you an ambulance. Um, so, <clears throat> so I was here by myself. <clears throat> my relative was at work. And um, Tanner's licking my arm. He's been attached to me ever since I got home uh, because I've had IVs in me and everything else. So um, the, the fire truck showed up first. It took a while for the ambulance to come. So the fire truck showed up, three guys, and, and I came outside, sat on the porch and everything else, and talking with those guys, and uh, like, they're like, do you have another way down there? Because I don't know where these guys are. I said, well, I could call my sister, you know. So um, they're like, well, let me check the ETA of when they're coming. So then they were there within five minutes. Um, and then I got in the ambulance and they're checking me out and all this stuff. And then they're like, do you want your sister to come and take you down there? I don't think they wanted me to go down there. They didn't want me to go down there is the thing. Um, you know, so so he's like, do you want your sister to come take you down there? And he's like, well, no, we better take you just in case it's your heart. It's a heart thing. You know, do you have chest pain? I said, well, it does hurt right here, you know, because they were hitting my heart, too. And stuff. So, they put an IV in me. They gave me some aspirin. They gave me a nitro, which did work. The nitro worked, unless they just stopped doing it. You know, but they asked me all kinds of questions. You know, I had a you know they uh, checked my blood pressure. My they did a uh, I think they did an EKG in the ambulance and all the stuff and took me down to the hospital. Cute girl too. One of them were, one of the girls were, or well, it was an old guy and, and a girl, and she was cute, and um, you know, and all this stuff. So, um, went down to the hospital. You know, I, I I was gonna talk about this. I didn't. I didn't really get a chance to. You know, if I would have talked about it, they would have had me see a psych person. I didn't talk about this. I talked about the symptoms. They didn't stop torturing me, you guys. They didn't stop. They were doing it all day long, even when I was in the hospital. They gave me Maalox with anesthesia in it to, to coat down here and numb it all up, you know, numb it up. And that did work for a while. The doctor came in and see me. She's like, how are things going? We're going to do a CAT scan on you. We're going to do a CAT scan because some of my blood work was a little off. And we want to make sure you don't have a clogged lung. So I'm like, what? So they did a CAT scan on me on one of those open CAT scans. And they put dye in my blood so they could see. So 
um, and your body gets all warm and stuff. The guy's like, your body's going to get warm, and you're going to feel like you're going to pee your pants, but you won't pee your pants. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. It only took a few minutes. And then they read the results. Uh, you know, my heart, it's, the, like, the good news is it's not your heart, you know. It's not your heart. And do you still feel the acid reflex? Do you still feel the heartburn? And I'm like, yes, I still, I still feel it. Even after she gave me a pill, she's like, okay, I'll go grab you a pill for that. Even after they gave me the pill, they were still doing it, you guys. They didn't stop. They didn't stop all day when I was down there. I was down there from 9.30 in the morning until 2.30. And do all these tests on me and all this stuff. Probably gonna be a twenty thousand dollar bill. You know, my cup, my insurance will cover eighty percent, whichever how much that is. The last time I was down there, I had a thirty five hundred dollar bill. They covered everything but a hundred dollars. Now I got the ambulance ride on there, and then CAT scan. That's probably eight thousand dollars right there. And then all these other tests, of blood work, and everything else. So, what do you do, though? What do you do? It was so painful, you guys. I couldn't take it. I had to go. I had to go to the hospital. I had to. You know, they said my uh, esophagus, am I saying that right, was all inflamed. was all inflamed from the acid. You know, and, and, and that's what these guys do. They can, they can, they can make the acid go up into your mouth with these weapons it's unbelievable you know and they can cause you so much pain so much pain I was in so much pain I had to call for help I had to you know I had to call for help I didn't talk about this and they didn't stop they didn't stop you guys they did it the whole time I was down there they were giving me acid, acid reflex and heartburn the whole time I was down there the whole time I was in misery, you know, and they did get the nurses involved. They were banging and they had some perps down there right in front of my room talking about the same thing I'm going through. They had two older guys there talking about the same thing I'm going through right now. Oh, I had a few drinks last night and and uh, I wanted to come in and get my heart checked out. No, and they didn't even put him in a room. He was in front of my room the whole time. They did like an EKG on him and all the stuff and sent him home, you know, and all the stuff. He was he was a perp, you know. So they had the perps down there uh, causing trouble, banging, um, you know, and all this stuff. I was laying there. I'm like, I'm hope, I hope I don't get out of here at 6 o'clock in the morning. I think they didn't want me to go down there. They didn't want me to go down there. The thing is, when I usually go down there, it stops. It didn't stop. It's been, I've been going through this all day. All day. They didn't stop after the hospital. I Usually they stop when I go get help. They didn't stop this time. So we might be making more trips to the hospital. You know, we'll have to see. But they're still, they're not doing the heartburn right now. But they're making my rib cage really sore like I breathe in and it it hurts I they make me burp and it hurts but it's not burning but it hurts when I burp you know and they can do this other stuff without the burning they can make you burp and, and it's really painful they got it all for me you guys I mean I don't know what I did or what 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 why I'm getting it so hard all of a sudden, you know, but it's a new year and I'm getting nailed again, you know. So that's what went on today. It was coming. It was coming for months, you guys. It was coming. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow when the big dogs get back, if they're going to make these guys stop or not. Um, they didn't want me to go get help because usually they make them stop when I do. They kept on going all day today. So we'll see what happens tonight. We'll see what happens tomorrow, and we'll see if they make these guys stop. I don't know what's going to happen this time. I, they have it all for me for some reason. They, they, you know, you know, they're causing physical uh, health issues. You know, when 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 they cause infl inflammation or what inflammation or whatever you call it. Um, you know that that's that's real. That's a real 
it, that's a real thing that that really hurts you're in pain you know that's not no made up stuff you know so you know it's all induced by these guys like I say, they were doing all this stuff and it did nothing. They were still giving me heartburn and all this stuff. So they've been doing it all day. And then, you know, like I say, making my rib cage and everything else hurt. You know, breathe in and it hurts and, and breathe out and it hurts and, and making you like burp or something. And it, it hurts. It hurts the way that happens. They got it all for me. You know, do they want to kill me? Probably. I mean, they probably do. Um, they probably wish they could kill me. Um, you know, hopefully nobody will let that happen. Um, but these guys, I hate them and they hate me. And it's a hate-hate relationship I got going with these guys. And I wish something bad would happen to these people. And they wish something ba bad would happen to me. They're, they're torturing me, like putting me in so much pain, you guys. I had to go to the hospital. I had to go. I had to go. You know, I was in so much pain. I said, screw it, I'm calling 911. Then they stopped for a few minutes. They were doing it in the ambulance. They were doing it in the hospital. They were doing it all day long. Um, like I say, I got there about 9.30, and then I got out of there about 2.30. My sister came and got me. And she's like, next time I'll take you down there. You know, you don't have to take the ambulance. You know, I'll drive you down there. But when I take the ambulance or... Or even the police come and get me I get right in I get right in a, a room um, if you go down there and you see the nurse and all this stuff it usually takes a few hours to get in there and then they, they want you to give up and go home is what is what the thing is they want you to give up and go home they don't want to give you help because usually they have to stop when they do it I don't know what's going on I don't know if new people have been taken over the last couple years or what, but I've never been tortured this bad since 2015. 2015, I got horrible, horrible torture for almost a year. I haven't got it this bad since 2015. So we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow, you know, or see what happens this week. Um, if they're going to continue to do this, you know, they're gonna, I'll be making lots of trips to the hospital, you know. So, and somebody's going to start asking some questions. What, why, why are you having all these problems, you know, and stuff. So, I can't believe they're letting them do this. Maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're off today or something. I, you know, usually they make them stop right away. They didn't do that this time. So, I don't know what's going on. But, I made it to the hospital. Now I'm home, and I'm sitting here on the computer and stuff. So, I'm still going through it. Um, why am I going through it so bad? I have no idea. I don't know what I did. What what did I do where I've been getting tortured for the last eight months? Horribly, you know. It's been it's been coming for eight months. You know, hospital trips have been coming for eight months. So that's what's going on with me. I thought I would share with you guys. It's crazy. This program is crazy. These people are nuts. They're crazy. They're insane. They they really are insane, and they like to hurt people. And they like to hurt people. What what experimentation? does that have to do with when when you give somebody heartburn or give them a heart attack well, what does that have to do with the experimentation you know they're gonna stress me out so bad I'm gonna have another heart attack they wanted me to stay overnight they, they you know she came in and she the uh, doctor came in and she's like I'm gonna give you the option if you want to go home you can go home but you can also stay overnight and we'll monitor you all night long you know and make sure you're okay so I said, well, I want to go home, you know, and then I was out of there in five minutes. Uh, the, the girl came in and she came in with the papers and I'm like, am I free to go? Like, yep, yeah, you're free to go. It was five minutes. They wanted me out of there. You know, they wanted me out of there. So, um, you know, I called up my sister, went home and stuff. And, you know, they, uh, they did, did uh, prescribe me the heartburn medication. I got to go up to Costco tomorrow and get it. Um, you know, why they took me off that in the first place, I have no idea. The medication doesn't work. It's a psychological hypergame theory type thing where if you're out of that medication, they're going to give you heartburn. I don't have heartburn, you guys. I don't have all these medical issues. I don't have all these medical issues. They're causing serious health problems in my health. And I'm only 49. I'm going to be 50 in uh, May, you know. So that's what's going on with me. 
I'll shut up now. Um, so I hope you guys had a good New Year's and, um, you know, hang in there and let's get through this somehow. And I'll talk to you guys later.